Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Alaska is in the beginning stages of a cold snap and it's dropping down to negative 15, negative 20, and it's even been quite the challenge to keep the house warm. Um, but the beginning of the new year also did bring quite a bit of new snow. And so I need to go outside and reestablish the trail down to our lake water supply and uh, pack that all down again. So I'll probably bring you along with me when I do that. Our water supply is down there on the lake. That's the hole that we chopped in the ice down there. And I can't exactly find the trail because of all the windblown snow. I have taken to snowshoeing the trail with a hiking stick to check the edge of the trail. Our old machines get stuck in this snow pretty easily, so it is just a lot easier to run over it real quick by snowshoe, pack everything down, and uh, at least you have an outline of where you should drive the snowmobile and uh, a lot less chance of getting stuck. So with these sticks, like this stick here, or this one right here, those are our trail markers. You can see one way off in the distance back there. I'm, I'm just going to connect that line from A to B and uh, just easily mark the edge of my trail. And as you can see here, I have definitely found the edge of the trail. That's how much of my hiking stick is sticking out. I found the edge of the trail there. I occasionally just poke to check where the edge of the trail is. And here's our water hole here. Somewhere is our insulated cap under all that that I'll have to dig out in a couple days. As we go over here, you can see this marker. And then there's that marker way over there where I turned over there. And I'm just going to connect this line to that line and call it good. And then I'll be able to pack down the rest of the trail with the machine. It is so bitter cold. Probably negative 15 down on the lake as it is negative 10 at the lodge. So it's always colder down here in the hole. Hey, look. There's my marker. Made for a pretty straight line. I am frozen. The camera is frozen, so well, I'm gonna go. See you in a bit. It is 20 below zero here with the wind chill. And I just wanted to come out this morning and try and get a time lapse of the full moon setting here. All right, let's cue the time lapse. While the cold is still beating down on us this week, I was just going to walk you through a couple things that I have to do and have to check on out here. Ah, today the wind is even worse. One thing I had to check during this cold snap is to make sure that snow was staying up against Joe's house. No matter how cold it gets out here, his crawl space always stays about 35 degrees, so um, this helps a lot. So let's go check on the root cellar. I'll show you what we have to do there. Uh, okay. Oh, shoot. I've got a wall of snow that I have to dig out here now. Okay, so when we get down to the root cellar here, the draft gets in past the root cellar door and everything in the root cellar will freeze. So we come down here and we throw snow in front of the door to seal up the cracks and the draftiness. Oh my God. So the good thing about living out here when it's this cold is there's not a whole lot we have to do sewer pipes can't freeze you know our, our heating will never go out we got a wood stove i've been packing in a ton of firewood but re relatively speaking everything's pretty low maintenance i guess we just hunker down until this is over
Okay, so the cold snap continues, as is kind of the main theme of this video. But I have to haul water today, again, off of the lake, and I'm gonna go down and show you the ice hole in just a little bit and see during this brutal cold snap how much ice has actually formed under our insulated cap. But the first thing that we run out of water in is our holding tank in the rafters above our pantry. It's only an 80 gallon tank and it's used for like dishes and showers and stuff and that kind of goes fast. 80 gallons doesn't really go a long way. So what I'm gonna do so Alyssa and I can take our first shower of the new decade is transfer um, leftover water. I got uh, for, I hauled this for laundry, but we did all the laundry. There's about 20 gallons left over. So I'm gonna take five gallon buckets, transfer it up outside the house, pour it into our holding tank so we can take showers today. So I'm already bundled up. I got my big boots on and uh, because it's still negative 10 out there. And on the lake, you get down off that shelf where we sit, where the house is, and it's even colder down there. So I might have to wait a little bit till this afternoon for it to actually warm up to maybe zero. That would be nice. So one thing I always do when I bundle up is these big old boots. Um, I love lacrosse boots. You can see we've got multiple pairs here. This is the newest addition in my arsenal of lacrosse boots. Um, so the only reason I have multiple pairs is because after 10 years, this one actually split out where I always bend my toe. And, um, so I got myself another pair. These ones still work great as long as I'm not stepping in water. So I got a new pair for when I have to actually step into the lake. And these ones are for when I'm riding or snowshoeing. So I will link to all of my favorite boots down below. My feet stay warm every time I wear them. I'm confident when I go outside that that's a big help. So I gotta haul some water and then we'll take you down to the lake and we'll check that ice hole. All right, so now we are down on the lake. And as you can tell, after I packed the trail with the snowshoes and then the snowmobile, that was almost two weeks ago. We haven't got any snow since then, but we have got a bunch of windblown snow over the trail. Luckily, I can still see my edges, so it's not a big deal. So let's go check out the ice hole and see how thick that ice got during this cold snap. You can't even tell that the insulated cap is here, which is an obvious reason why we always mark it with this. Stick is stuck in the ice, so that helps a lot. I know that it's somewhere right in here. I just need to dig down through this windblown snow and find it. It has been over two weeks of cold snap, dropping down anywhere from 25 below uh, to about five below in, during the day. Um, the wind chill has brought it down a lot lower a couple times over the past couple weeks. But we, took, we put this vlog on hold for a week um, because we were gonna talk about the cold snap, but it just wouldn't stop. But in the meantime, I gotta dig down here and make sure this ice isn't getting too thick. Okay, so now I've dug down to the leading edge and most days this gets right underneath and allows us to pop that cap. But if it's really bad, I brought this just in case. All right, we're in. That's thicker than I was hoping. <laughs> oh goodness. And this little foam insulation can only do so much, but let's see how thick it is. There we go. Not bad. There's water. So I will definitely have to reestablish a nice rectangular hole or else we will end up losing a big enough hole to drop our pump down in. Anyway, 
anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a little behind the scenes look at what we go through to haul water. You already know that because of some of our past videos, but what happens when we're not hauling water and when a cold snap um, kind of forces us inside for a few days and we conserve water while it's 25 below zero. And we get out on a day like this when it actually gets up to about five below, we can actually come out and assess the damage. It's not too bad. So next time you see me, I will be inside with Alyssa having some afternoon coffee, maybe playing a board game. So I gotta chop this hole out. See you guys soon. Okay, so now we're gonna sign off this video. We got our coffee, we got our board game. We couldn't decide because I got two awesome new games for Christmas and Alyssa has kicked my butt several times at Villainous. So we're gonna try Jurassic Park. Boom. You ready to see if you can kick my butt at this one too? We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. We've only played it one time, so not sure how it's going to go. All right. Sounds good. Thanks for watching the video. As always, make sure to like and comment if you have any comments or questions. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. End of video update. We finished the game. It took us over an hour. Now it's dark outside, so we finished by lantern light. And Alyssa played people while I played the dinosaurs and she won again. So I'm not exactly sure if there's a game that I can beat Alyssa at, but this game's awesome. So thank you for the Christmas present. And my beautiful sister-in-law signing out. Ah, come on fingers work. It's so cold. Oh my gosh. Everything hurts. Now I got water froze into my glasses. I can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs>